Hello friends, welcome to this course on HyperMesh. In this lecture, we are going to do the assembly of a sheet metal component. Now let's open the component. So go to open. In your project file, go to the folder of 2D Mesh project and select this file that is 2D BIW part. So select this part and click open. Now click on the shaded geometry. Now inside this part we can see if I zoom in here, this is a BIW component and this part has a thickness that is a uniform thickness. So we are going to do the shell meshing of this. So first of all, we need to extract the middle surface of this. So here we can see it has a component with this name. Now I go to geometry, go to middle surface, select the surface and click extract. Here we have to specify no and now we can see a mid surface has been extracted. So here click on return, go to this middle surface, right click and go to isolate. So only this component will be shown. Now inside this component we can see we have multiple fillets and we can see beads are there. So we are going to do the meshing. Now before going into the depth of meshing of this type of component, we will learn about some basic concept of the meshing that are followed in the industries. So we are going to do the meshing of this component with respect to the industries. So in meshing we need to remember some things. Now first thing is triads should not be on outer edge. So here we can see onto this component we have this outer edge and we can see triads here. So generally on the outer edge triads are not allowed. Similarly we can see triads are there. So here we can see these are triads on the outer edge. So we have to remove these triads from the outer edge. After that Dryer should not be adjacent to hole and washer. So here we can see we have washer with respect to the hole. So we have to avoid the triads near the hole. But sometimes it may happen that we need to put the trier adjacent to the washer in some exceptional cases. There should be no opposite triads. So here we can see I have a trier here and I have a trier here. So the direction of this trier is here and for this trier is here. So it means these are opposite triers. We should avoid the opposite triers. So whenever we do the remesh of the opposite triers, they will cancel each other. Also on the fillet area, we need to avoid the triers. Here we can see onto this fillet, there is a trier. And we need to avoid the triers onto the fillet area because the fillet area are the critical area. So generally these are the areas where the stresses is very high due to stress concentration. And when we put the trier onto the fillet, it will not give us a good result. For the washer, we have to make sure that we put even number of elements on the washer. For example, we can put 6, 8, 12 etc. So here we can see if we have a very critical area. So critical area means where the stresses are high. So we need to put higher number of elements there. So at least 12 number of elements onto the critical areas. And in the general areas we can put 4 or 6 number of element if the dia of hole is small. And we can put also higher number of elements just to make sure the number of elements should be even. In case of fillet, so here we can see we have a fillet area. Now onto this fillet area, if we put single layer of element here, we can see it will not capture the area properly. Here we can see the curvature. So this portion is empty. So onto the fillet area, we should try to have at least three minimum elements on fillet. So if this is smaller fillet, we can put two rows of element and if it is a larger fillet like this, we should try to have minimum three rows of elements. 
so that it can capture properly the surface. And whenever we have a very small fillet, so we can defeature it and we can make a corner like this. After that we should avoid the back to back trias and also we should avoid this cluster of trias. Here we can see there are a lots of trias. So we should avoid this type of meshing. And also two trias should not be connected to each other. Like this here we can see two trias are connecting. Here we can see and here. So we should avoid this type of meshing especially on plane surface. So here we can see this is a plane surface. And again we should avoid this type of trias. So these are opposite trias here. So opposite trias generally cancel each other. So here we can see if we do the remesh of this opposite trias they will create the quad like this here. So we should avoid this type of meshing on the fillet area. So here we can see we have mesh transition. So we have tria element, we have quad element and here we can see these are mixed type of element. So we should avoid this. And again on the outer edge we should avoid the tria element. Again here we can see we have tria on the outer edge. So we should avoid this. And whenever we have a circular hole two layer of elements. So here we can see onto this hole we have one layer, we have two layer. So if the area around the hole is large enough we can take two layer of element and also we should avoid this type of zigzag meshing. So here we can see the mesh here is zigzag and again here it is zigzag. So we should avoid this. We have to make sure the mesh is straight and it has a good flow and here we can see so right now we can see we have tria element here but here we can see this element is a diamond shape element so these are called rotating quad so so we call them rotating quad and these types of quad basically are called diamond element and we should avoid them because you see when we perform the analysis the load is transferred from one node to another node. So if the nodes are aligned the load will transfer properly. But if the nodes are like this so here we have one node then another node after that another node. But now we can see the flow is not good so the load will not transfer properly. That is why we should avoid this type of rotating quads. Now for this problem we are following this mesh criterion. The global element size is 5 here. The washer we are taking of the half of the diameter size. Minimum size of the element is 0.8 and then maximum size is 8. Wall page is 15 and also we can take wall page up to 25 degree. Now skewness is 60 and aspect ratio is 6 and Jacobian for this problem is 0.5. Now for the tria element in case of tria element we have like this. So we have th these three angles. So this criteria is for this angles. Minimum angle should be 25. So generally we can take this value up to 20 degree and for quad element. So in case of quad element we have angle here like this. Now in case of quad element we have minimum angle is 45 and maximum angle is 135. So this is the general criteria for meshing that is followed in the industries. And whenever we do the meshing the minimum length. So the length of the element. So let's say I have a tria element like this. So the length is calculated. You We have to make sure it is calculated using the shortest edge. Shortest edge means direct distance between the nodes. Similarly for Jacobian we have the algorithm that is called at integration point. For the solver type it should be set as hyper mesh. So here we have to make sure it, was, it is selected as a keep mesh and in the graphic window it is level 5. Okay and in the meshing it is keep mesh. When we complete the final mesh, 
so these are the checking parameters we have to make sure we have a proper mesh flow the element quality is as per given criteria there should be no back to back trias opposite trias no free edges no duplicate elements and proper normals so i will share all these pdf with you so that you can have a better understanding of this so after learning the criteria we will continue this in the next lecture and we will start the meshing in the next lecture